वेलकम यू फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन माय चैनल राहुल पसाले लर्न इन सिंपल वे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट्स टुडे इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी जस्ट गॉन थ्रू द हाउ द पॉइंट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द एच पी एंड डी पी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट्स लेट्स सी वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट अबाउट फोर प्रॉब्लम्स लेट्स इन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम The point A is 25 mm above HP and 35 mm in front of PP. The point A is 25 mm above HP. The point is 25 mm above HP and 35 mm in front of VP. It means this point is lies in the first quadrant. So the point is 25 mm above HP. That's why from XY line we are going to take 25 mm distance above XY line. We are going to take 25 mm distance above this xy line and this is will be the front view of this point A. This is the front view of point A that is A dash. Then this point is 35 mm in front of VP. The point is 35 mm in front of VP. It means its top view will be below xy line. So mark this distance on this same projector, extend this projector in downward direction at 35 mm distance plot this point A. That is the top view of this point. So this is the front view of this point. This is the top view of this point. And as this point is above HP and in front of VP. The point is above HP and in front of VP. It means this point is lies in the first quadrant. This point is lies in the first quadrant. Then we go to, to the second point. The point B. Second point is B. The B point is 30 mm above HP. The point B is 30 mm above HP and 45 mm behind VP. 30 mm above HP and 45 mm behind VP. It means above HP and behind VP. It means this point lies in the second quadrant. So B point 35 mm above HP. Keep some space here. Say 20 mm, 25 mm. Keep some space here from this projector to the next projector. And plot this point 30 mm distance above xy line. So this distance is 30 mm. This point is the B dash. That is the front view of this B point 30 mm above xy line. Then 45 mm behind VP. As this point is behind VP, it means its top view will be above xy line. So from the same point, plot the distance 45 mm from this xy line. Plot the distance 45 mm from x y line. Plot this 45 mm distance, and this is the top view of this point. This is the front view of this point. This is the top view of this point, and this is the this lies in the second quadrant because the point lies in uh, lies above H P and behind V P. It means this point is lies in the second quadrant, and in the second quadrant, the both front view and top view of the line will be above x y line. Now. For the C point, the C point is 15 mm below HP. The C point is 15 mm below HP and 35 mm behind VP. 15 mm below HP and 35 mm behind VP. It means this point lies in the third quadrant. This point lies in the third quadrant. So below HP, 15 mm is what? From XY line, keep same space from this port to this. 15 mm below so this point is the front view of this point c dash below hp and 35 mm behind vp so its top view will be above xy line it will be somewhere here so this is the top view of this point so this like point lies in the third quadrant okay so the point c is below hp behind vp it means it is in the third quadrant and in the, when the point is in the third quadrant, its front view will be below xy line and its top view will be above xy line. Now, the last point is the point D. So, the point D is 20 mm below HP. Point D is 20 mm below HP and 45 mm in front of VP. 20 mm below HP and 40 mm in front of VP. It means this point lies in the fourth quadrant. This point lies in the fourth quadrant. So its front view will be below HP means below XY line. So plot this distance 20 mm. 20 mm like this. So this point is the D dash. 
that is the front view of this D point below HP, 20 mm below HP, and 40 mm in front of VP. It means its top view is also below XY line. So from this point, from XY line, remember always we are going to take the distances always from XY line only. So from here, plot the distance 40 mm below this. So this point will be the D point that is the top view of this point. So this point lies in the fourth quadrant. So this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So as we discussed in the last lecture, when the point lies above HP in front of AP, it means this point lies in the first quadrant and when the point is in the first quadrant, the its front view will be above XY line, the top view will be below XY line. When the point is above HP behind VP, it means the point lies in the second quadrant. At that time, its front view and top view both will be above XY line. When the point is below HP and behind VP, in that case, the point lies in the third quadrant. And when the point lies in the third quadrant, its front view will be below XY line and top view will be above XY line. And lastly, when the point is below HP, when the point is below HP and in front of VP, it means this point lies in the fourth quadrant and when the point lies in the fourth quadrant, its front view and top view will be, both will be below XY line. So, it is very much simple. Do remember, always, one thing, always we are going to mark the distance with respect to HP in the front view only. The distance with respect to HP, we are going to mark in the front view only. Above HP, above XY line, below HP, below XY line, simple, front view. And with respect to VP, that distance we are going to plot in the top view, that is in front of VP, it means its top view will be below XY line, and behind VP, its top view will be above XY line. It is very much simple. Uh, for the detail, go through the last lecture first, then go through this lecture, then you will get the detail about this projection point okay so if you have any doubt about this please do comment i will solve that problems if you like the video click on like button do subscribing and uh, thank you very much for thousand subscribers and uh, do subscribe do share ask your friends to go through this video thank you thank you very much